This week on Sackville Sunday Stories, we talk about... Am I out of stories? Oh my god! So crank it up! House party, massive paper cut from here to here. There was a guy walking a ferret on a leash on Cobblehood Road. Okay, running out of stories actually reminds me of a story. See, back in the 90s, I worked on the Scotian Prince. That was the ferry that went from Yarmouth to Portland, Maine. In a situation like that, you're working in a really confined space with a group of people for a long period of time. So during my tenure there, I told a lot of stories to pass the time. And a lot of those stories featured my brother. Partway through the season, my brother decides to come visit me on the ship. You see, he had to go to a bachelor party in Digby. So the next day, he was just gonna get up, take the ship from Yarmouth to Maine, turn around, and come back. Give us an opportunity to spend some time together because we hadn't seen each other for several months. He gets on the ship after he buys his ticket and he says, hey man, uh, the bachelor party left the cottage and went down to Club 98. I spent all my dough. I only had enough to get on this ship. How expensive are things here? I said, well, don't worry about it, man. Chad's in charge. I got this. The truth is, I didn't really have it. I was just trying to act, uh, you know, cool in front of my little brother. But things started to happen for him. For example, he was walking down the hallway and the guy that ran the restaurant goes, oh my God, are you Chad's brother? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I've heard so many stories about you, man. Oh, I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you. Your brother's told so many stories about you. Hey, when you go have supper tonight, hey, no problem. Just order whatever you want, bring me the bill, it's on the house, man. You've made me laugh so many times. My brother was like, sweet. So Ryan slips into the ship dining room and orders. Now one thing to know about Ryan is, usually he's got little tiny little food stains because sometimes when he eats he gets little drops. It's just a regular thing, it's just, it's just something that he does. But after he finished dining, I was working in the casino and I saw him coming down the hall and he looked incredibly hey. excited. Hey, Chad! Chad! Seriously, man! Hey! Hey! Listen, I just ate spaghetti while at sea. Look at my shirt. There's nothing on it. I ate the whole thing. Didn't get any spaghetti on me. Where's the casino? Because I am hot. I walked him down to the casino. Just as he was entering the doors, he turned around and looked at me and said, by the way, does this casino take Canadian or American currency? I said, American. He pulled out a little Sir John A. McDonald $10 note and said, this is all I got, what's the conversion? I said, you're gonna get $7.50 US. He goes, huh, not ideal, but I'm on the streak. This shirt does not lie. He turned and like Hannibal Lecter just disappeared into the crowd of the casino goers. I didn't think much of it. I went back to work. About an hour and a half later, I saw him. I saw him laughing, pushing his way through the crowd. Yeah! Woo! Nice! Good one! I'll see you tonight! Yeah, you too! Yeah, no, awesome time! Awesome time! He comes walking up, pulls out a wad of cash. 400 US dollars, man! I told you I was on a hot streak as we were talking about it. The manager of the hotel on the ship comes up and says, Hey! You're Chad's brother! Yeah, I heard so many great stories about you. Listen, we hardly sold any rooms on this trip. We're gonna give you a free room. At this point, not even I, as skeptical as I am, could deny the power of that clean shirt. He was so impressed that he actually ate dinner on the ocean, didn't get anything on his shirt, and now he had $10 Canadian. He flipped that into $400 US. He got a free room. He got a free dinner. Then I took him downstairs to the crew bar. We walked inside. He's got $400 cash, walks up to order a beer. He says, how much is beer here? The guy says, bottles of beer? are 50 cents. Ryan was like, oh my God, his mind was blown. But that's when the hammer came down. At 50 cents a beer, Ryan buys a round for everybody in the bar. It wasn't 10 bucks, it was not 10 bucks, right? So everyone's crowding around and they're like, oh man, you're Chad's brother. Chad's told us so many funny stories about you. Why don't you tell us a funny story? Ryan's like, yeah, no problem. Takes a swig of his beer, he's like, one time, Chad and I decided to build a go-kart. And they're like, yes, we heard that one. That was so funny. And he's like, oh, okay. Uh, uh, one time, uh, uh, Chad and I, we went to Rainbow Valley, right? And they're like, oh, yes, with the little Speedos. Yes, we heard that story too. Ryan's like, okay. Uh, one time, uh, Chad and I went hunting. And they're like, yes, we know that story. And Ryan's like, oh my God. 
I'm out of material. Chad had spent the last few months on there just clear-cutting everything. I had told every story that actually existed over several months. Ryan was just standing there by his lonesome trying to come up with something, and he couldn't. Anyhow, that's how I feel today. Sorry I didn't have a story for you, but I'll see you next week. My name is Chad, and this channel is for you. Whether you're an old-school sack villain or a new-school sack vegan, I'll see you next time on Sackville Sunday Stories. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobbaquid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save. And still going strong after 43 years, Kaiser Subs. Yum!